Hi kids, I'm here again. So today I have the second winter story and the story title is The Snowbirds. It had snowed very hard. Ralph and Edward, who were visiting grandma in the country, had to stay in the house all day. When they went to bed, it was still snowing and every time they woke up during the night, they could hear the wind and the whistling around the house and through the branches of the old pine trees. But the next morning, the sun was shining brightly. Such a glorious day, how the branches of the pine trees did sparkle. It looks as if they had been sprinkled with gold dust and diamonds, exclaimed Ralph. Oh, Grandma, please do hurry breakfast. We are going out to build a fort, cried the boys bursting into the dining room. Grandma smiled and told them to eat a good breakfast, for building a fort was hard work. When they were soon out in the snow, and what a splendid time they did have. The fort did not grow very fast, for they had to stop so often to snowball each other. When Grandma called them in the dinner, they wondered where the time had gone since breakfast. After dinner, Ralph was looking out of the window when he spit two little birds cuddling up on a branch of a pine tree. Oh, Edward, come here, he called. See those poor little birds. They look half frozen and so hungry. Poor little things, replied Edward. Doesn't it make you feel mean to think what a jolly time we had this morning out of the snow, which was covered up the places where they get their food? Let us get some food from Grandma and throw it out to them, said Ralph. Perhaps they will find it. The little birds were soon chirping and flying about Merlin and Ralph said it sounded as if they kept saying, thank you. Will not other little children be as kind as Ralph and Edward?